Hey guys, welcome back to another video in our mini series on React hooks. So in this video, we will learn everything about use ref. So I have seen many developers abuse the use of use ref hook. So let's see when to use and how to use. If this sounds interesting, then stick around. Also, don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So let's get started. Alright guys, so I have a very basic React application with one component and that is the app component. And inside the app component, I have an input fill and a button. The state of the input fill is managed using the use state. So if you don't know about the use state, then I have a video on it. You can click on the card above and jump to it directly. And when we click on the button, we just reset the input fill. So now if I type it here, the page, then you will be able to see the name here, the page. And when I click on the reset button, it will clear the input fill. And if I type it Malvia, it's going to reset the fill if I click on the reset button. And what I want is when I click on the reset button, my input fill should get cleared. But I also want my focus to be shifted to the input fill. And for that, I need to have an access to the DOM element, which is the input element. And this is one of the use case of the use ref to access the DOM elements. So we have the first use case, which is the DOM reference. And to take the reference of the DOM, what we are going to do, we are going to import the use ref like this. So once you import the use ref, I will create a reference variable. So I'm going to name it as input element. And this will be equals to the use ref and let's give an empty value. And when you actually reference a use ref, it returns an object and this object has a property called current. So let's do a console.log and I'm going to write an input element and let's see what happens. So if I go to the inspect element and I will go to the console and inside the console, you will see that we get a object. And if I expand this object, then we have a property called current. And when we reference this input element to our input tag, then the input tag will be referenced as a value to this current. So what we are going to do, we are going to reference this input element to our input tag. And on this input tag, we have an attribute called ref. So if I write it ref and let's give the value as input element and I will save it. And now if I type anything, let me type DIP, then you will see that the input tag is now referenced as a value to this current property. And once we have the access to this input element, we can apply focus on it or all the properties that we have on the HTML tag. So what we are going to do when we click on this reset button, we call this reset input function. So let's go to this reset input function. And inside this input function, we are going to set the focus to the input tag. So how we can do that now we have the reference in the input element dot current holds the input tag and then you can actually apply a focus. So if I write this and if I save it, then you should be able to see that when I click on this reset button, the input field gets clear and the focus is on the input tag. So if I click on it, then the thing is clear and we can get the focus. So I can write another thing. If I click on it, I can get the focus. So this is one of the best example of using the use ref to access the DOM elements and you can also manipulate them. But a lot of developers I have seen that they manipulate the input values directly with the help of the use ref. So if I do a console.log of input element dot current dot value and if I save it and when I click on the reset then I will be able to see the value but you should never update this value like this input dot current dot value and this value is equals to the page so now if I click sorry this should be an input element all right and now if I click on this reset then you will see that the input fill will have the value of the page but it is actually not updating our state. So we should never use use ref to update the input values directly. So it's always better that we use a state to manage the input values. All right, so the next example I want to show you is that how you can use use ref to store the previous state. So we can use the use ref to hold the previous state. So for that, let's create a random counter. So I'm going to create a constant 
and this will be equals to a counter i'm going to give it as a set counter and let's make use of the use state and i'm going to give the initial value as zero all right now let's go here and write an counter so i'm going to create a div and i'm going to give an h1 tag and inside the h1 tag i'm going to name it as a random counter and this will be having a value of the counter whatever the value of the counter is and what we are going to do we are going to create a button so that we can get a random counter every time when we click on this button so i'm going to write a on click and inside this on click i'm going to do an take an event and this event will actually do a set counter and to get the random number so i'm going to do a math dot seal and inside that i'm going to do a math dot random and i'm going to multiply this by 100 so that i can get a random number every time when i click between 0 to 100 all right and let's give it as a generate number all right and now if i click on this generate number then you will be see that we get a random number every time when we click on this generate number but now i want to store the previous state because whenever i click on the generate number my components get re-rendered and i want to hold a value between this re-rendered so you want to hold a value between the re-renders so you cannot use the use state because if the value of the state changes the component will get re-rendered and we want to hold this value between the component re-renders so for that we can make use of the use ref and i'm going to create a constant which will hold the previous counter ref and this will be equals to the use ref and initially i'm going to give it as an empty all right and let's change this to counter all right and now what i will do i will create a use effect so inside this use effect so let's import a use effect first so let's import the use effect like this and here i'm going to write the use effect so let's write an use effect this use effect will have an arrow function and when we want to call this use effect whenever the random counter changes so the random counter changes at the counter all right and when the random counter changes i want to store current value of the counter in my previous counter ref so what i'm going to do i'm going to do a previous counter ref dot current because current is the property where you actually hold the value between the re renders and this will be equals to the counter all right now we can preserve the value we can hold this mutable value and now we just want to print this value so let's go here and i'm going to write a type of this previous random counter dot current if this is not equals to the undefined because the first time the value will be the empty so we don't want to show that value so i'm going to do an undefined here all right and and then i'm going to do an h2 tag and inside this h2 tag i'm going to print my value so this will be the previous counter and then we can print here the previous counter dot current all right and now if i save it then let's see now the initial value of the previous counter is zero and now if i click on it it gets changed to 69 so now if i generate a new number this new number will get changed but the previous counter value will be the 69 so if i click on it so it's not working so we made some mistakes so let's go to the inspect and let's go to the console and in the console i can see that i have made a mistake here so this should be an array all right okay now let's save it and now if i click on it then you will be see that i can have the previous value if i click on the 56 i get the previous value if i click on the 52 i can hold the previous value so this is where the use ref is not only used for the dome access but you can also hold the previous values between the re-renders so what happens when the value of the random counter changes the component actually re-renders but you can hold the value in the uh, use ref dot current property and this is how important the use ref is and this is one of the use case of using the use ref so 
these are the three use cases. So the first one is the DOM reference. Whenever you want to manipulate your DOM or you want to access the DOM element, you can make use of the use ref. The second use case is if you want to hold the mutable value or the you want to store the previous state then you can make use of the use ref. So a lot of misconception is that use ref is only used to access the DOM, but no, it is also used to hold the mutable values between the re-renders. So whenever the value of the use ref changes, the component doesn't re-render. Only the use state value changes, then the component gets re-render. So that's all I have in this video. I hope you like the video. A thumbs up is appreciated. You can also connect with me via Facebook or Instagram. I will add the links in the below. You can follow me on Twitter for latest updates. And before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss the videos like this one. So in the next video, we are going to see the use memo. And till then, see you. Thank you. Thanks for watching.